Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of What a Horse, getting ready to kick off the celebration. Yes, sir. And I am with my buddy, Jerry Williams. Yes, sir. I do want to ask everybody to continue prayers for the Beasley twins. Them young ladies are very important to this industry. So, Hold on one minute. Let me uh, do this right quick. Go ahead. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. Watch for Eli Cunningham as he rides into Lebanon under a new show pleasure division on It's the Medalist and Yakety Yak. Eli and It's the Medalist have been in the winner's circle many times through the years, and this year they are going for top honors at the 86th National Celebration. Eli will be teaming with Yakety Yak for their first appearance in Big Oval. Eli and his family ask for your support as he rides for spotlight honors during the Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Giles Dunn is a leader in both cultured and lab-grown diamonds. Located at 234 North Jackson Street in Tullahoma, Tennessee, Giles Dunn is well known for his beautifully designed jewelry. From that special diamond for your special wedding day to the one that says I love you more, Giles Dunn is the place to shop if you want to say it with diamonds. Open five days a week and always ready to assist you in that one in a lifetime purchase. To set an appointment for cultured or lab-grown diamond viewing, call 931-563-7800. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax-deductible donation as fast as a 501c3. And be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. Hey, thanks, Mark. Oh, you big me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess uh, everything going on right now, we probably made the USDA mad. What do you think? Probably, probably so. Well, they've uh, a lot's going on for people that don't know. Letters were sent to the Secretary of Agriculture, Thomas Bill Sack, and Department of Agriculture Inspector General Phyllis Phyllis Fong, that. Um, from the oversight committee, which that Bill Sachs over the oversight committee and accountability, but uh, they pointed out a lot of things that are going on with the USDA that are not quite ethical. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm going to use that word ethical. I know that. Uh, let me get these names right: John Rose, Mark Green, Scott Desjardins, Andy Ogles, Chuck. Frischman and Diana Harshbarger and Harold Rogers uh, sent a letter that Carrie McHenry and Amy Adams lacked scientific 
justification for some of the violations that they found, and that some is a very high percentage of yes. some. Uh, I know that you got tagged with one that wasn't even on the radar. That's right. Uh, a Phil Scar that was. <laughs> it it would be funny if it wasn't so drastically harmful to the walking horse industry. Not only to the trainers, but to the owners, to the charities. That what they're doing affects everybody. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it affects everybody. And you know, you put your heart on hard work into it and goes up there and you think you, everything is just right and you have somebody like that just to, to bust your bubble. I know. I mean, and, and it's like they, it's like it doesn't bother them to do it. And, and it goes further than that because there's other people involved. We know Rhymer's involved. We know that Kevin Shea's in there somewhere. And we know that uh, you, HSUS is very very involved. Yes. Uh, and they keep pushing, pushing, pushing. And we, when you look at these horses, and, and we've had different veterinarians from other industries look at the horse and say, what's wrong? And they'll find violations that nobody else can see. Yes. But they claim that are there. So it, it's, getting, it's getting to the point that it's, it, it needs to be stopped. So I'm going to tell everybody, that uh, our trainers have worked very hard. They do a good job. I just hope that they continue through the celebration to bring horses up there that are in pristine condition. Yes. That they know in their heart that that horse is compliant with the Horse Protection Act because in all honesty, do, don't gamble with it because no. there's no ribbon at the celebration or any other show that is worth the walking horse industry. You're exactly right you, about you that. Think, think more of the industry, but also video your inspection. Yes. Don't lead one up there thinking everything's okay. Video that inspection, because those videos that were done by a lot of different people were a drastic help in where we're at right now because it proves what we said to be truth, not just something that we made up. So it's, it's very important that you Follow the rules, but video, and they can't stop you. Yeah. That, that they can't. They they found that out at the ag center one year. If if they try to stop you from video and call the call the police, call the authority, call the the local law enforcement agency, and just point out what they're doing because they can't break the law. That's one thing they can't do. They can come in here and flex their muscles and talk about they're going to do this and they're going to do that and they're getting called on the carpet for it now for overreaching. Yes. So, uh, well, how many are you going to show? I got five all together. Five all together. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you're going to, uh, he's going to lose a lot of weight. Yeah, he's going to have to do, do a, lot a, lot, of a lot of walking. <laughs> well, a lot of that's walking. good exercise. Yeah, it is. You, it <laughs> is. But I've, I've seen some of you coats out there and I've, I've, I know that you have several for sale. You've got Brood mares for sale. Yes. You've got performance horses, mm -hmm. pleasure horses. It's a one stop shop. You come there and you can kind of look for everything. Well, right there, right one there of is an honors coat that's out of a um, silver dollar mare. That's a real nice coat right there, a big coat. He is a good size coat now. He's a real good, and moves real good. Well, he's kind of. And that's, that's one of the first times I ever clipped that coat right there. And um, I mean, pretty smart. I mean, now I'm he talking about on, coats. He caught on quick. Now I'm talking about coats ain't never been ain't never been touched up yeah. until about a week or so ago. Well, they, he learned very quick, but it, a lot of it has to do with the smartness. Yes. Some of these horses are smart, a little bit smarter than others. Let's put it like yeah. that. But now he moves good. I thought. Yeah, he does. That's a good moving coat. Real, gonna be a big size coat and a flashy. Well, they, they're going to see him when he comes in. Yeah. I, I looked at him out there, and uh, I could almost picture Bob Adcock on that yeah. horse. I like the way that coat move up front. You can see that coat is real light-legged with yeah. his front legs right there. So I think he's going to be able to use his front legs real well. Here's another one right That's here. That's a, a little play, trail riding horse. That's a real nice little trail riding horse. We're going to have him around. I mean, he's been all over the different places. and. 
and Trail Road and stuff like that. Well, a lot of people out here are looking for them. And, yeah. and I can tell you, I've been out there, I've watched some of the stuff that y'all do. And this here is a, a real nice filly. Three -o, she's a three-year-old filly by on um, Deal For Real. Mm -hmm. You know, the man that raised this coat right here, I, I kind of like him a lot. Do you? Yeah, I kind of I kind of. I'm, I'm glad you do. Yeah. That's a, that's a real nice feel. That feel there just had a late start, but now she's she's getting to the point where she's shaking her head and doing a lot of walking. Well, this is the one that we carried over to go through boot camp. Yes. And uh, after she was over there, they, they said, hey, said, I don't know whether I'd be wanting to sell this one for a trail horse or not. And... Uh, so we, we decided we would try something else. And, and she is more and more and more. She, her foot gets a little longer. She's yes. going to get better. She's going to get a lot better. So it's, she, she's got plenty of time. We ain't a rushing. I've got she got the right way of going. Yeah. And that's, that's the main thing. That real natural head shake and everything, you know, and just walking up under herself. Savannah does a real good job yeah, riding the horse. She, 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 yeah, she does. No more training than this one's had, yeah. especially to actually go show. But uh, boot camp was right. They, yeah. they told us right. Said, said she's got the way of going that she wants. So we're going to see how she how she pans out. But now she'll she'll be one that's going to be for sale. Yeah. But there you've got others out there that uh, I know I've got a couple out there I'd want to sell. I've even got brood mares with you that that I, I would like to sell. I've got one that's in foal right now. It's a hero. Yep. And she's about ready to, she's about ready to drop. Drop, she's you're, gonna, you're she's exactly gonna have right. have a fall coat. But now, if anyone out there that's looking for something, performance, pleasure, coat, we got a little all of it out there. They can just come visit. Yeah, that's right. Or just come visit. You don't have to buy nothing. Just come. I didn't like the company. Yeah, we, we might put you on TV. You can't ever tell. That's right. The nickname I born is Do Drop In. You do drop, <laughs> do drop in anytime you want. You drop in anytime you want to. Just, just drop on by. <laughs> we, we don't buy. That's just the way it is. Our conversations love about everything. <laughs> But I know a lot of people filter in and out of there. You got Uncle Nearest Distillery right next yeah. door, and they, they serve good barbecue sandwiches, I can tell you that. Yeah. Now this one here is a little trail riding horse yeah. I got right there. He's got a good little gait. He got a good little gait to him. I tell you what, I took a lot of them coats, the coat that you seen earlier, and yeah. you ponied it off of him. Uh -huh. And um, taught the other coat how to lead. That's how I got the other one kind of going a lot quicker. Oh, it's I watched by out there one day with, it had him yeah. put the this one right here going around through mm -hmm. there. You know, uh, Dick People does that a lot. Yes, too. that's <laughs> why I learned. That's why I watched that from is from Dick. Dick, you can always know one thing. Taught Jerry Williams how to lead a horse. That's right. That's right. He he had a little um, gray gill that he used to do that with all the time. Well, I've seen him do it a bunch up and down that yeah. hall. And I mean, it works. And you know, that coat gets comfortable being next to another yeah. horse and, and lead a lot better. Well, it helped in the ring, too. Yeah. He won't but get you know, on. you'd figure back but, in the Western days, that's how they led all them no. coats and stuff like that. They ain't have no tractors, no, no. nothing like that. They hook them yeah, behind that right horse. Right here's another nice looking one. That's a nice uh, um, coat, right? That's a honors stud coat that's out of. Um, that coat right there is out of a, his mama was a um is a half sister Omaha. Yeah. I tell you what, you've got a way with te teaching these horses to trim. Yeah. That they don't get all huffy and puffy about. Well, I just try to teach them the first time about clipping without having to put a twitch or anything on them or a or, or bind them or, or whatever. And you do that, and they just kind of learn how to do that yeah. on their own. Now right here is one, Juneteenth. Te yeah, this is a nice moving filly right here. This is the first filly out of major ordeal. The very first one. And she is. And I tell you, that filly moves real nice. Yeah. Well, she's by major ordeal out of um, uh, Ted Williams, America. Yeah. But now she is the first one and the only one. 
and she will be a, well, she was a, a year old in June. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the reason we named her Juneteenth. Yeah. Debbie Eichler helped me name her. I kept trying to figure out a name, figure out, I said, well, it's June. Yeah. Name her Juneteenth. <laughs> but that's a good, that's a good moving Philly right there. That Philly got a lot of good natural movement that's out there in the field. You know, most time when you, Walk one, you know, you can kind of make a gate on your own, but the one that's natural turn out in the field, you can see what is natural. Just walking yeah. amber alone. Mm -hmm. I, I love to watch them. That, I bought two stud coats out of the pasture just by watching them walk. Well, yeah. Because that, that, that's where you get your natural ability and everything. Well, I do want to tell everybody you want to stop by and visit the VFW. Yes. You always got to give VFW a plug because those people are. They're very special. Veterans of foreign wars, they got good pinto beans, cornbread, ham sandwiches, mm -hmm. tenderloin sandwiches. Everybody, you know, go to Donuts. Don't get me wrong, Donuts are real good, but that's what I look for, that BFW building opening. Well, I like the BFW, but then I'll go over there and get me a donut. Yeah. <laughs> you got to have a dessert, <laughs> and they don't step on these. But this is what I want to watch. This is what I can't wait to open right here. Well, Bob Roach and them always get out there. You yeah. see them there, him mm -hmm. and Charlie? They, they're always ready to eat when it comes chow time. But that, I had I had to give them a plug because those are some good people. Oh yeah, and that's a great charity down there. Okay, what else we got to do? We're going to look at some uh, contenders for this year. So let's get started, Hill. Right here, Allie Joe, you're going to see her in so many classes. That's right. It's it's not going to be funny. This is equitation. And L predicted storm. She'll be in there. But now you're gonna see her some more. That's the only that's not the only place she's gonna be. I said, well, that that little girl, I mean, she presents the horse very well. Very well. Oh, now she does. Well, to you know, be her age and everything. Well, she wants to learn. Yes. She loves it. Well, I, I tell you one thing about her. We went over to Spencer's when he was showing his coats and everything. And I looked for her, and they said, she's in the hayfield. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a kingpin and my buddy Bob Adcock. I tell you, you'll see this man riding a bunch of good horses oh, yeah. out there. Now you're going to see him a bunch of times. Yes. And all of them going to be high-headed. Yeah, they're going to be hiding. He's going to be peeking around. That's peeking right. through their ears, doing something. But these Looking are forward to seeing him, Mr. Bob, in the ring. It's going to be a lot of very competitive classes yes. this year. I didn't, Jose, show off. There's no good one. Hyman. And Caress. She, she's a good hey. rider. Sets that saddle and gets it done. Yes, she does. But now they did give Tommy credit for buying the horses. They said, <laughs> they said he can pick good stock. Yes. So. But now Tommy's been in his business for a long time, and he, he's pretty, pretty swift on that. Super good guy. He is a good guy. This will be a good, real good celebration this year, I believe. I really I believe, believe it, it will is. too. I, uh, a lot of good competition. Looking forward to it. There's Allie Joe again. Yep. Y'all going to see her a lot because that young lady, if there's a class that she can get in, she's in. Another nice horse that she riding. That's a big mare too. Yes. That sang, I sang Dixie. She's got a good chance of winning that one. Yes. That's one thing I've noticed about her. She 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 does do a she wins quite a bit, but she doesn't always win, but she's always got this smile on her face. That class be a big class. Yep. Uptight Jose and Tim Smith for Bruce and Robin McDonald. You're liable to see this horse in the open class and in the yes, amateur uh -huh. class because Bruce, Bruce does a great job of showing. He does a good job showing this horse. That's another real good horse. I won't, can't wait to watch these classes. This will be the first time in a long time I got a chance to watch some of these classes tonight. You get to watch them instead of yeah. being participating. That's, that's right. Good, though. Oh, yours going to be in the daytime. Daytime, that's right. Hey, this you're going to see this horse 
in the open in, in amateur yes. competition too. Jimbers Country Girl, uh -huh. called Carol, does a fantastic job of presenting this she, mare. She does. She does do that. This is a great mare too. Jimbers Country Girl. Real nice. And I tell you what. Carol Baxter is one of the nicest ladies oh, yeah, she, I've ever met. Her and her husband nice. too. Just super nice yeah. people. Now I ain't gonna say a bunch about Dale and Josh though. <laughs> <laughs> They're basketball coaches. <laughs> Cousin Bob and Tanner Burke. Shane showed this horse yeah, and did a great job. job. Yeah. So you this is another thing you'll see in both divisions. In different divisions, that's right. And Shane, it, Shane just a super good guy. Cousin Bob. Right, hey. You see this man right here. <laughs> you, you may see see that one in the open in the amateur too, because she's that good by honeybee. Yes. But you don't know, Taylor might be on her, Molly might be on her. But I can tell you this, she's one of the top mares in this end. Oh yeah. Just a great mare. Beautiful. She got the right gait to her. Oh yeah. Got a whole lot of walk, head yeah. shake, timing. She's in there. That's one thing for sure. Here's Harley Quinn and Beth Collins. Stallwalter. Yeah. She uh, she she's a super good person. And she's a world champion. She was world champion last year. Yep. Just a good mare. I seen an advertising on this mare on Facebook the other yep. day that had some memories show up. I tell you, that's, she's, she is a real good mare. Big mare, too. Yeah. I like that name, Harley Quinn. Mm hmm. Beth, one year she came in just about every morning to help. Here we go, Honored in Texas. Oh, that's a good horse. Hey. You overlook him, you're making a major mistake. Because he is a bad cat. He can get it done. And use them front legs and walk off his green. Head up, tucked. Yep. He getting her done. This one right here, and that, I would say that amateur only train class would <laughs> be tough it. class right here. Hey, you know, I haven't seen him when he got beat. Yeah. I don't think he had. I need, I should have looked that up. But Kenny's another now, Ken, Kenny's a super good guy. Oh yes. And that is one good horse. He was winner in Columbia, over there at the Ag Center. He's, every time I've seen him this year, he's won. Yeah. Just a good horse all around. And this one right here, there's an ad on Facebook on him too, Big John Coffee. Uh-huh. That horse is destined to win big, big time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he just And I tell you, he, Justin works hard at it, and that horse, that's a good horse. That's a horse to put him in that position to, you know, to do real good in that class. Well, he, he's just a four-year-old, so yeah. his future's in front of him, but I'm here to tell you now, that's a walking horse. This right here, in the model class. Yes. Bocephus. Every time I see that name, I think of one person. <laughs> Hank Williams. Yeah. Evidently, Beth was, because she had a horse called uh, Hank Williams one time, yeah. I believe. And right here, Switchblade. Youth Pony and Allie Joe Jacobs. That pony class is going to be a top one. Hey. That pony class gonna be tough, buddy. Yeah. Real tough. Cause there's a bunch of good ones in there. That's a nice horse right there. It is. I mean, and I say it over and over, but now you catch Ally Joe now, she got all different type of horses she riding and she yeah. got to hold them horses different, but she that type of a rider can do that. 
but she works at it. Yeah. And, 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 and I don't mean to keep blowing her whistle, but I admire her worth ethics. I admire these girls. Oh, well, and, and that pony? That pony is. I mean, a, hey. Like a little I'm sewing machine, enough. like I say. That's right. Just, just push the button, let's go. Yeah. I'm so glad these girls right here are going to be able to show at the celebration. You, you know, think they are? I, believe I, I had not heard. I, I heard that they was really going to try. I, I hope they do. Yeah. Because they, they're super good kids. I think they got enough willpower to make them, that they will uh, pull through and get the show over there. Well, I, I certainly hope yes. so. I, I have not been able to uh, get in touch with Greg this morning, but I did uh, text Beth. I haven't heard back from her. But I, I certainly hope so. They will, uh, they, they, they just, they, they mean a lot to the industry. Oh, yeah. But they've been here for so long. Oh, yeah, we, that's we right. Watched them grow up. Grow up in the from, industry. From lead line all the way up, and now they're driving a vehicle. Yes. <laughs> now that, that's it, but they're sharing it. Yeah. So that's it. All right, you, you can go ahead and do, you, you, out, you outran me the last time, and now I've got to give you a boost. Go ahead. We'll be right back after these messages. A call to Spencer Benedict Stables in Murfreesboro, 270-590-5285 or 270-590-5235 will provide the first step in breeding to one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry. World Grand Champion, Mr. True Blue, a consistent blue ribbon winner with a stud fee of $1,000. Or select Amateur Show Pleasure World Grand Champion, El Zaro Star, a constant winner in both open and amateur competition and has a multi-mare discount with a stud fee of $750. Both of these World Grand Champion stallions provide championship bloodlines with live full guarantees. Take that first step in adding another world grand champion in the walking horse industry. Make the call and make your selection. Watch for Ali Jo Jacobs during the 86th National Celebration when she competes for the highest honors aboard Ain't He Grand in the 11 and under equitation division. Ali Jo will be guiding Switchblade in the 11 and under pony division as she goes for championship honors in a highly competitive division. In the Youth 11 and Under Mare Division, Ali Joe will be guiding I Sang Dixie as they thrive for top honors. The Jake Jacobs family asks for your support as Ali Joe Jacobs rides for your approval. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax-deductible donation as fast as a 501c3. And be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. All right, we're back. Yeah, they, uh, everybody needs to... Pay attention to this fast commercial. Yes, it's. I'm gonna tell you, people, we we're in a battle, and fast oh, yeah. is here. So, be sure to listen to what Mike said in there. Make the contribution and put down there in the memo line legal funds. Yes, because we're we're gonna we're we're just now getting into the battle, and we we're doing good, but we don't want to back up. That's right. We want to stay on offense. We don't want no defense. We, we need to get our message out there and get it out there loud and clear. All right, we're gonna go watch some more contenders. And look here, Equitation. Yep. Yeah. She can't pull that off though. <laughs> but that's just how she, Allie Jo, if she can get in the class, she's gonna get in yeah. the class. Ain't he grand in Allie Jo, but I think she's gonna show her other one at the celebration. It's always good to have a backup plan. Now, I'd give anything if one of my grandchildren liked the show as much as she does. Yeah. Right here he is. It's the medalist in Eli Cunningham. And this young man here, he hey. can really ride and, and he loves it. He, hey. he loves them horses. He is a pistol, no doubt about it. 
That's a nice horse right there. I tell you, he, he's serious about it. Oh yeah, he is. He, I mean, he really is, and that's and that's good. That's what we want. We want kids in here that want to show their horses. And the thing with him is, you you ain't too much different between him and the trainer when they ride. No. Here's T Time Charlie and Ali Joe Jacobs. You youth eleven and under reserve. Like I said, you're 11 underclass, man. He's gonna be tough. He's gonna be real it's tough. Gonna be, it's gonna, and there's two divisions. You got your Marin Gildan, you got your Marin Division, and you got your Gildan Division. Yeah. And each one of them is probably gonna have a different one. Yeah. And then they all gonna get in there together. Here's a Jen DeWin and Kendra Myers. This right here is a world champion, world grand yeah. champion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then they take the tail brakes off. She's gonna make a splash now, I'm gonna tell you. And that's your pleasure class now. It's tough. It's tough. Long time ago, you used to take that brace off that horse and put, a, put that horse in that class to hope you can get a win. Now you won't put that brace back on him because you won't get out of that class. <laughs> you won't go somewhere else. Yes. Here's first night out, Ali Joe Jacobs. This is what I'm talking about. This young lady, you put a saddle on it, she's yep. gonna ride it. And I, I, I literally love that. I wish one of my granddaughters was like that. You know, she's got her own that she's training too. Okay. Quite an honor and Maxine Beasley. I'm gonna tell you, this mayor, <laughs> she is, uh, something special. Oh yeah, she is. Big mare too. Look where she, how tall that mare is. Mm -hmm. Maxine does a great job. She does her. a real good job. Gets it done. Here's Born a Maverick. That's why I think that honors coach you got. Yeah. <laughs> That's Bob Hancock. That's right. Born a Maverick. I love that horse right there. Nice horse. Yeah. Cavender. This horse here is a good horse. Hey, one of the best out there by yes, far. Yeah. I, I said that the first time I saw him, and I still say it. He just flat out walks and gets it yeah. done. Beautiful. And can walk. Right there, Cole Hahn. Ali Joe Jacobs. How many horses does that girl have? She have a bunch. I mean, she's even got spotted horses. I told her, maybe better not find no wild goat. She'll be riding it. <laughs> and she shows in the model class, too. Here's Lady's Privilege and Thomas Derrickson. This is a good horse. Yeah, this now, is buddy. a nice. This is a nice man. Missy and Tim Johnson, they got a good lineup of horses, a real good lineup, yep. a bunch of nice ones. And every one of these horses that we're showing today, ladies and gentlemen, are contenders. You can take it to the bank. You're Thomas gonna, does a good job. Yes, he does. Uh, You're going to see a, several of these in the winter circle. And there's the horse. Another pony. Just saddle up and let her ride. And here's a country lineman. This is another one. Another this is good old Beasley. Tell you what, there was some classes this year where I mean, just the horse you thought was going to win. Yeah. And and then you get there and you see these others the way they come on. Uh huh. It's kind of like when, when I saw Mayhem in in Columbia. You can just about say, man, who's going to beat that? Yeah. I mean, and there wasn't nobody going to beat it. 
and now you, you see one that comes in that all of a sudden, here they are. Uh, yeah. Right here, my brother in arms and Thomas Derrickson for Missy and Tim Johnson. And here's Gio and Bowie Williams. He was reserved, but hey, he made a great show. Oh, yeah. He's getting with it. I think he'd rather sail and, and, and for the mares and coats. That's it. <laughs> but Bowie does a good job on these horses, right? Yeah, he does. Right there, spotlight on Jose and Bill Calloway. This three-year-old yeah. division, I'm here to tell you now, I would not count that one out. No, that's a good horse. Bill does a good job of presenting him, and that horse got a lot of heart. But he just seems to keep getting better and better. Yeah. And here's Mr. Far Real, Dahlia Smith Hart. Amateur canter winner. That's a nice little horse. Yes, he is. He's assisting the steady. Mr. Far Real. We, we, we're blessed because there's a lot of real good horses oh, yeah. in this industry. Jose, it ain't so, and R.M. Gellett for Jake J. Now this one you'll see in the amateur in the open, open too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got, we're gonna have some performance horses that show two or three times oh, yeah. celebration. Zaro Jr. and Sam Martin. I like this horse. Yeah. And this is another you can't count him out. Oh no. Anytime. Right here, Georgia, Florida line. Show pleasure. Telling you all over the place. This horse here won a, a, a tub of blue ribbons. Oh man. He had one with everybody that owned yep. it. He had one. He's all he's always been a winner. Yeah. Open and amateur competition. Yeah. Right here is a red alert. Now I'm here to tell you. This horse right here shows one night in the open. Look up, here he comes in the, in the yep. amateur division. George and Kim Lewis, they know it. this is a good horse right here. He can get it done. And here's Miss Stone Cash and Linda Boss. Now she she made a great show. She made Don't, a good show. And, and she presents that horse. I'm fixing to gig him now. Uh huh. Noah, you need to pay attention here. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. told him that, matter of fact, last night we had a conversation at the Celebration Grounds yeah. and, she, and we were messing with each other. Here's Will Hound. This horse right here, has, there's a soft spot for a lot of us for yeah. this horse. Uh -huh. Tennessee Johnson's horse, Dan Waddell and Will Hound. Something special. That's one they can be watching for in yeah. the three-year-old division too. Would not count him nope. out. That's a good horse. And I am a little lady in case he writes for Woods and Roberts. Cup, it's entry number 499. I am a little That's a nice lady mare. in case he writes for Debbie Woods and Jim Roberts of Lexington and Wildersville. I am a little lady in case he writes entry number 499 to the blue. Nice horse. Yes, sir. A lot of nice. Neil Smith for Larry and Elsie West. Of I like, I really and yeah. truly think this is one of the best juvenile show pleasure horses we've got. Yeah. He's consistent. He's got everything that you'd want. He, he's flashy. He walks, head shake, timing. And the young man that's riding him does a fantastic job. Yes, he does job. a real good job. Now, that juvenile show pleasure class is going to be. Oh, yeah.
I am March Madness. You better watch the rider right now. He's coming. Yeah. Gabby Woods owns that horse. You know what that horse is named for? What? Basketball. March Madness. Yeah. Come on, Jerry. Riders. Something else, buddy. Right here is Dark Rain. Hey, I'm telling you, they watch for this one. Oh, that's a good horse there. That's one of the best ponies in the industry right now. And he doesn't miss a beat. Does not miss a beat. Taylor does a great job yeah, with him. Yeah, she does a good job. Here's ladies' privilege again. Three-year-old Marion Gildan winner with Thomas Derrickson in the saddle. You better not be counting her out. Oh, yeah. The celebration is going to be tough. It's not going to be any gimmies no, it ain't gonna be at no all this year. I promise you that. A lot of great horses. Here's, I'm the boss lady. And here's another. I like this man. Yeah. Bob does a good job presenting her. You know, I like this mare because this mare got a potential to keep growing and growing. As yeah. she get older, she's going to keep getting better and better. I believe so, too. Yes. Really do. You can kind of look at the gear she has and the gait she has that she got a lot more left in her. Oh, yeah. Well, she just has a way of walking to me. Now, yeah. I mean, and here's Honored in Texas. I'll tell you what. Amateur stallion division. It's not no slouch no. from top to bottom. Mm -mm. A bunch of good ones. Bunch of good ones. And here, Earl Smith. This is another real nice horse here. I, I'm not, I know somebody that really likes that horse. Yes. Uh, you wouldn't have nothing to do with that. <laughs> That's a nice horse. Courtney does a good job. I'm gonna tell you, they Snapwood does a good job on getting this horse presented for ready for the horse show. I'll tell you what, he's a nice one. And that's the one that they better be watching. Oh yeah. And that three year amateur class now. And here's Cavender. That, that horse is he's special, Jerry. He is. And he really is. He's special. Look at Good horse. I'm going to tell you, they, they can uh, be a whole lot going on oh, celebration yeah. time. But I'm, I'm looking forward to it myself. Oh, me too. I am. I mean, it's going to be the it's <laughs> going to be tough. It's going to be a lot of clashes. It's going to be packed with good horses. I would not want to be a judge. Oh, not, I know. Not for it, this it'd one be a hard thing to do because there's going to be a bunch of good horses in that class. Too much competition. Yeah. Well, I'm going to let you do your job one more time. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> During the 2024 breeding season, you will find one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, I Am Mighty Jose, standing at Precious Memories Farm in the heart of walking horse country. Call Daniel Miller at 931-703-5830 to schedule your mare. Breeding fee is $750, live full guarantee. Multi-mare discounts are available on request. I am Mighty Jose, a consistent winner in both open and amateur competition. So make that call today to start the process of raising a Tennessee walking horse champion. After months of practicing, Ali Joe Jacobs and Teton Charlie are ready to tackle the youth show pleasure division in the 2024 World Championship Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Ali Joe will also be showing Cole Hahn in the youth 11 and under gelding division in hopes of winning top honors. Ali Joe and Haas will be competing in the youth pony competition, rounding out her lineup of her top contenders. Be sure to stand and cheer for Ali Joe Jacobs as she rides for your approval. 
The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you'll have one tomorrow. That's a fact. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax-deductible donation as fast as a 501c3, and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. More of What a Horse coming up. All right, we're back. There, there is a lot going on at the celebration grounds now. A lot of people are fixing up their barns yes. and, and doing the flowers and stuff. But I miss some of the old ones. Oh, yeah. I mean, I remember Susan Gordon, boy, she used to, you'd go over there and see where she was doing Russ Thompson barn, and she would put a lot into it. Oh yes, I mean, and and there, that's not that's just one barn. There, you go down through there and you see all the work that these trainers do to decorate it up and get it to looking good to represent it. And now, you drive through Shelbyville, and and Tim Webb made a post about this, about all the signs and the walking horse support and stuff that's far in Bedford County, uh -huh. and he's right. I mean, even, there's a lot of people over here ask me about the celebration this year. So it it's something that everybody thinks about. Oh yeah. So I'm, I'm, I am really looking forward to seeing how well everything goes this year, especially in the inspection area. I have a feeling, and I may be wrong, I have been before, but I just think this time here, I think we're going to have a real good celebration this year. I do too. I feel I that way. I, I, I feel this way. Oh. I feel something in my heart say it's going to be. Well, I'm, I'm, a lot of it's going to depend on the way the inspection goes. Yes. Right here is Kim on red alert. Now, tell me she, she knows she yeah. can flat ride. She won the war trace show last year on him and then come back and run. Won the red carpet this year. Yeah. I like that horse. He's flashy. And the thing about this horse right here, I think he showed the night before that with yeah. Dan. He did. But that shows how, how well these horses are yeah. carried for. And right there's the chief. Now that's a good and Clay two. Sanderson. Everybody better watch out for this two year old right here now. He's a good one. There's three of them that is, is something else. Yes. Yeah. And they're going to be tough. And that's one of them right there. But there's two more out there that, that uh, it's going to be exciting. That horse got the right gait to him right there. Now he take them legs and stick them on out there in front of him. Oh, yeah. Let her go. Yep. And here's Mark one. I, lo I love this horse. Yes. Yeah. Molly does a great job, but now to me that's a pure walking horse. From front to back, yep, he's walking. Timed up, getting it done. That, it, this is what I consider a walking horse. You got a walking show horse, you got a lot of them. Different ways of going, but now this is flat walking. And right here, honor and remember Dan Waddell for Kim Lewis. Getting her done. Read an article on his father. Yep. Jake Ryan 
Right here is Jake Ryan and Harlan Wrench at Shane Porterfield's yes. granddaughter. That's another nice little horse right here. Well, I believe Harlan showed one night and Harper showed the next yeah. night. You know, both of them got reserved. Harlan showed in, in Fedville, and then uh, the next night, Harper in Wartray. And here's Tea Time Charlie. This was in war right Yeah. You know, they had a pretty little crowd on that war Yeah, there. they did. Mm -hmm. It was a nice night. And here's Jake Ryan and Harlan Lorenz. But it was Harper this night. Yeah. We just didn't swap the names. But both those young ladies showed the same pony, two different nights. Another testimony to the condition of our horses. Yeah. And that's a nice and pony. Remember, the, the government was there. That's right. And the government was there both nights. nights. That's right. I like it that we showed in front of the government. Here's yeah. I'm acting up and Chris Blevins, for Chris Blevins, your show pleasure amateur reserve winner. Let's see Chris showing and everything. I think that's the first show he's been, well, he showed one other time, but I mean, he had been 30. It, it's been 30 years yeah. other than him coming out and riding on the slice. So. Uh -huh. Am I the only one? And Blaze Picard for Shane Porterfield. There's Chill's main man and Jerry Williams. You know him? Yeah, I think I might know that fellow one. I've seen him before. I thought it was someone in disguise. <laughs> That's another little, nice little horse right here. That's a horse I have for sale. Yeah. Two. Oh, you got some more for sale. Yeah. Right here, honors to Mr. Guest, Wayne this Wilson. Nice horse. Evergreen walking horse farm. So proud of Mr. Pleasure Junior. winner. Evergreen walking horse farm. What I'm talking about, that show pleasure class. Oh, yeah. Now. Yeah, to show pleasure class is tough. You know, get exciting. That's for sure. You, you cold chills and Jesse Barnes. This is a tough three year old. Yeah, it is. It, he gonna beat me. That boy's got him rocking and rolling oh, yeah. now. And he'll show in the amateur and the open competition. Uh -huh. Jesse can be proud of that. Oh, yeah. Right here is Titleist Masterpiece and Savannah Williams. I believe you know her very yeah, well. Yeah, I believe too. I know her pretty well. Your new daughter in law. Yes. I like Savannah. Savannah's she, she's a good right. girl. She's a real good girl. And 
Right here's Cousin Bob and Tanner Burks. Oh, sounds what? good. Oh, specialty winner. I'm, I'm, Tanner, he, he's in there. Now. Oh, yeah. Shane's got some good horses. Yeah, Shane got some good horses. Shane got some real good horses. All right. That gets us ready for the celebration, yes. and that's what, that's what we're going to be doing. Celebration bound. We start, well, this morning at 9 o'clock, mm -hmm. and then we will go for 10 days. And now, we'll have morning classes for five, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yep. Sunday, we we'll go to church. Monday, we we'll come back for morning classes, and the rest of the week, it'll be night. Night, yep. So You're right. you, you'll be off the rest of the week. Yep. <laughs> you won't have nothing to do unless you want to go help somebody. <laughs> be about it. So you're going to enter winglings and yearlings? Winglings and yearlings and a lead line. I got one lead line. Are you going to do the lead No, I'm not going to okay. do a Mandy. Okay. Left, right. I'm going to do it. I, I, thought, I thought that's the way that was going to work. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to get out there and cheer because yeah. she's from our barn. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Mandy, you get free cheering because you're from the barn we're at. That's right. <laughs> but it, that lead line's tough. That right? lead line's hey. a tough class. I tell you, there's a lot of good ponies that are going to be in there showing. That right there, they said that's one of the toughest classes it was to yes. win, and mm -hmm. I believe it. But there, there's a lot of others. We're going to see. We're going to see so many horses that it's. I, I'm just excited about it. Yes. And we'll have a. We're, I'm going to have a new cameraman over there during the day. Uh huh. Bryce Milburn. He uh, he's been working in Atlanta in the movie industry and moved to Tullahoma, so he decided he'd like to still do it. So we, yeah. we've got him. He's a super good guy. Uh, he'll be videoing the morning classes. So we'll be over That'll there quite a bit, mm -hmm. be a bunch. So anything you want to tell the people? I just want to tell them good luck and have fun. Well, that's the main thing. Everybody have fun. Get out there, cheer for your favorite horse. Uh, go to the VFW. Yes. Be sure to go to the VFW and the donut shop. And uh, anybody interested in jewelry, give me a holler, because I've got several horse rings, got a little bit of everything. And stop by on the Dew Drop In. <laughs> Jerry Williams, Williams tables, tables out yeah. on 231, the Dew Drop In. You, you gonna be serving some Uncle Nears? I'm gonna be serving some Uncle Nears out there, uh, so Uncle come Nears. on. Y'all heard it. You just bring your shot glass with you That's in right. the mixer, cause he, and he'll have the liquor set up. <laughs> Good luck to everybody at the celebration. We'll be seeing you nightly. Good luck. Have a good one. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking. Thank you.